Planning Advisory Committee member Neil McKay says he admires what the Phoenix Center aims to provide, but doesn't think it fits in the residential neighborhood. It is a needed service, but it is it is clearly having a very serious impact on surrounding properties. And I've never this is uh, I've been on, on PC for about a year, and I also served on PC for a year and change some time ago. I've never seen this level of public engagement on any file. The vote followed presentations from residents of the Sunshine Gardens community. They say in the months since the center opened last October, they've seen illicit drug use in the parking lot and have found used needles along sidewalks. One of the project's proponents said many of the problems would be addressed once the center had the proposed housing units. A final decision will be made by Fredericton City Council during its April 12th regular meeting. Rio says he... I mean, it's the wrong place. Like I read uh, in the Irving media this morning that uh, Steve Byrne, the husband of uh, Sarah Burns, that they were going to name the, um, the proposed new building after Sarah Burns. And he said to the media, he says, we must care for the homeless. We must care for the homeless. I mean, they put the issue, like this is for the homeless. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure these people have a, have a place to live. I'm very sorry, I will say it again. Am I an activist for the homeless? I've never been homeless, but uh, yeah, I do. I do my part. I got uh, rights for rumors uh, and the justice system. Prisoners don't have to walk home, etc., etc., etc. But these are not homeless people. Steve Burns have to educate himself. People on Crystal Met cannot be considered homeless because people on Crystal Met do not give a rat ass about nothing. I'm very sorry, but that's the way it is. Some people say, oh, no, it's a lot of success story, stories of people that were on Crystal Met and uh, went off it and became a good abiding uh, citizen. No problem. Show, show them it to me. Like one person suggested that the only reason I'm so harsh is because I see it every morning downtown. The question is, we seen I seen all kinds of people on different drugs, but Crystal Met is a different, different, different drugs. It's a like I said, I'm doing these videos and I'm talking about it. If it can stop one person, one a lot of kids are watching these videos. Uh, my God! Don't the parents screen what the, what their kids are 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 watching? If it can stop one kid from not doing crystal meth, it is warranted to, to, to do this. Just one. But uh, people on crystal meth, like I said, they don't give a rat ass. So they're not homeless because they 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 want to be homeless. They don't want authority to tell them what to do. That includes landlords. They don't want to be able to, uh, if they got a paycheck from a, a welfare check, they should be able to buy the drugs and they got a suka gin and, you know, they should just be, they just want to be left alone. So, to say these people are homeless, they're not homeless. So for Steve Byrne to say that we really need a place for them, to stay, uh, I'm sorry, but across the Delta wasn't the area. That's one of the most snobby neighborhoods in Fredericton. Some people will say, well, Forest Hill is worse. But uh, that area there, that's, uh, <coughs> if this would have been allowed, it would have been a zoo, well, just for an example. I mean, it's over, so uh, I was walking by the guard from the government house to the Delta, right by the water treatment plant. What do I see? Uh, bicycle parts, uh, clothes, garbage bags, and 
I said to myself, I never see that there. What's going on? I look, ah, the Phoenix Center was right across the street. You know, I mean, if these people, like, like last summer, they put a tent beside the St. John River. The tent was there for maybe, I don't know, a week. The police went there and then they told them, listen, you gotta move on. But when they left, they found about 20 needles spread all over the place. Do they say, okay, we're in an area, we're gonna keep it clean. Now we're doing needles. Well, somebody should get a container and we'll put it in a container. No, that's not what's, what's happening here. They just threw it right on the ground and they don't give a damn if there's kids around or, I mean, that's, it's not their fault. I mean, in a way it is their fault because if you see somebody act high on crystal meth and you say, hey man, that's cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna act like him and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a needle right in my arm. So, people have to educate when they say homeless, like the idiot mayor, Michael Bryan, uh, he won't be mayor long, not another one, another month and a half. Uh, the only thing he mentions is city motel, city motel, city motel. What do you think is going to happen in the area of the city motel once people on Crystal Met takes, uh, takes over that area? Uptown is going to be destroyed. So what to do? What's the solution? There could be one solution, just one that I see, just one is from my, from what I hear the old Victoria Hospital and the shelter and the soup kitchen that's all going to be sold and they're going to build condos there that's what I've been hearing but that area is known less fortunate myself go to, I go there soup kitchen they should have an area they want to do a vis, uh, rezoning yeah Put a, uh, put a, uh, uh, sorry to wind up, put, add another attachment to the shelter and a big one, you can have four or five story long, uh, high, long, tall, five, four or five story tall, no problem high or whatever uh, and have it there that's the area but you start saying well we're gonna have one right uh, right downtown uh, right across from King's Place well, I'm sorry you look what's happening at the medical clinic John Kingston said well you know that's a good idea to put let them have, have tents beside the medical clinic let them have tents oh that's a good idea my god they found hundreds of needles and then the alleyway people were pissing there shitting and stolen bites I mean the bottom line there how to handle crystal meth you could bring a horse to water